Hey guys, uh, I am here with Josh, We Should Hang Out Sometime, Sunquist. He's got a really cool new book called We Should Hang Out Sometime, which is in the other room. Superimposed. All right, so I was going to adjust the camera. I watch your videos a lot for um, inspiration, like I really like your motivational speaking ones. And I always feel like I'm getting good advice from you, so I was wondering if you could give me the worst advice that you've ever gotten. Just in general, and this is a, just a very common piece of advice you'll hear. Let's say you're in a social situation, a bar, a party, or whatever, and you know, you're talking to some people about like, hey, that girl over there, I'm gonna go approach her. Mm -hmm. And girls always will be like, oh, just go talk to her. Uh -huh. Like, the worst thing that she can say is no. Right. And I'm like, exactly. That is by far <laughs> the worst thing that could happen. I will not ever approach a girl. In fact, like that's ultimately how I met my fiance is she approached me, like literally walked up to me uh, when I was like dancing with my friends and was like, you're awesome. And I was like, we should hang out sometime. I've been with my wife since I was 18, so it's been a while. But I was always, I had to be asked out or I had to ask someone out on AOL and some message. Yeah. That was my, I needed that screen, like metaphorically and physically, I needed a screen. Okay, so this is a really, this is kind of silly. Like you're a really awesome athlete. Like you could say metaphorically, like you've taken some lemons and made lemonade. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, what is your opinion of lemonade? Sorry, was that supposed to be a metaphorical question? <laughs> no, it was not okay. metaphorical. I try to avoid <laughs> Uh, sugary drinks. Sure. So my opinion of lemonade is it's great as long as it's filled with Splenda. Not to excess because as we all know Splenda causes cancer in rats. What? It's, well but here's the thing. Okay. It's like, like all those science experiments like pretty much anything causes cancer in rats yeah. if it's just like you inject it with them like all day long. Like if you injected just pure like broccoli into rats <laughs> like all day, probably they're gonna get cancer. I saw that picture of you where you were like an Adonis and I was yeah. like, how did he do that? So like, yeah. how do I, how do I get a six pack? And then how do I get unembarrassed to take my shirt off in public? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the, the second part, you have to become more of a douchebag, sort of thing. <laughs> okay. uh, and everyone has a six pack. Have you ever seen one of those um, exhibits, you know, of the human body where they have sort of like, they take like cadavers and remove everything except for their muscle? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Right? And you look at those and people inevitably are always like, man, these people are so ripped. Everyone looks like that underneath their skin and then underneath the layer of fat. I'm not just totally making stuff up here. I did actually get a personal training certification at one point. Wow. So really, to get a six pack, you really don't actually have to work them out so much. Okay. What you do have to do is get rid of fat. Of course, to lose fat, really, it's more about like eating really well. Do you ever, when you were a kid, do you ever have this idea of like the golden summer? I was such a nerd that I always fantasize like this is gonna be the summer where like I get really buff and everybody's gonna be like, Who's that guy? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, when you come back to school, you're like, whoa. Like, I kind of joke about it now, but I was like, I'm not even gonna make a big deal about it. I'm just gonna come in, like, really buff without my shirt on, and just be like, let's do fractions. Like, like that's my school? Dad. Yeah. You're just gonna come yeah. in without a shirt? Just be like, hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Oh, I'm sorry, did I forget my shirt today? The agent is a bouncer at the door who removes the velvet rope and lets you go inside to speak with the editors. 